In the UK, we have a very broad range of beautiful animals. We may think of Preston as a city, but you may be surprised by the number of different species of animals and birds we have here in Preston, such as deer, hedgehogs, tawny owls, kestrels, sparrowhawks, and many more living within our rural and idyllic countryside. Not far from Preston city centre is the Turbury Woods Owl and Bird of Prey Sanctuary. Here you'll find an amazing collection of owls, hawks, falcons, eagles and other birds of prey, many of which were born in the wild but had to be rescued for one reason or another. Here they are nursed back to health and released back into the wild by the sanctuary. This chap's called Checkers. He's a fully grown European eagle owl. Before early on in the film you saw babies. Now this is what they turn into after about three months to fully grown like this. Now this chap's uh, what we call a member of the family in my book because he lives at home in Airdrie and he actually goes to schools and slides above children's heads. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a little piece of chicken, hold it tight in your fingers and let it gently nibble out your hands, all right? Now this chicken is cleaner than chicken we eat. Now, this is Stella, one of our uh, young eagles. Well, she's young and saying she's a year old. She was born last year. Uh, Ian and Roy have been training her. Uh, a bit temperamental, take a bit of work. We have to fly these birds every day to keep them tame. So it's hard to believe that although we live in such a great place, without thinking, we could be hurting many of these animals ourselves. Throughout the UK, many of our birds and wild animals fall prey to one of our most common environmental problems, litter. Every year, many wild animals get trapped in or tangled in all types of litter. Glass bottles can cut their feet and they can get tied up in fishing line, as well as everyday items such as nylon and string. Most vets say they have had to treat injured wild animals at some point or another. Birds and other wild animals often eat things that they shouldn't, and when they are hungry, will nibble at anything that smells like food, and often get tangled up in the rubbish we leave behind. Now... We found many of them hobbling about with hooks in their feet, nylon string wrapped round their beaks, nylon wrapped round their wings, and in no time they'll die of starvation. What annoys me more than anything is when you see litter on the streets is bad enough, when you see litter in a woodland or around the fishing lake, which is a natural environment, it hurts even more than seeing it when you see litter on the streets, which is bad enough, but to see litter in a countryside, that's, I think, terrible really. I think very irresponsible people. The mortality rate isn't too bad. But nevertheless, we have seen them. The hoops, as I say, the feet, and the beaks, and the wings. They've been attacked by other birds, of course, it's too weak to fly away. Many kids nowadays don't think this is a problem, they think it's no big deal. What they don't realise, it can be detrimental to, to a lot of uh, wildlife, especially uh, birds, you get tangled up in all sorts of things, like uh, especially a uh, famous rescue I did later on. I'm going to show you a Tony Owl, but on occasion I rescued a Tony Owl that was caught up in uh, the ring pools from the top of the camp and it picked up this piece of plastic, I think presuming to take it back to its nest, and it got its head and the plastic caught between its wing, which rendered it unable to fly. And it was found in a pretty disastrous state, starving because it couldn't fly. It only took about two seconds to remove the plastic, obviously because we were stronger than the bird, and then it took a couple of days to get the bird back on its feet back and eat some food, but unfortunately if we hadn't removed that plastic or found the bird in time, then that bird would never have died. One of my worst hates is carrier bags actually. People go to a shop, I go in many a time, I'll pick up a loaf of bread and the assistant asks me, do you want a carrier bag? And I say, no thank you, I'll carry it home without it. You use once or twice maybe, and then they take 500 years to biodegrade. So we need to make sure we do our bit to protect our beautiful birds and animals. Always make sure you put cans, bottles, chewing gum, wrappers, glass, fishing line and all other types of litter in the bin. Plastic bags take up huge amounts of space in our country's landfill sites, space that could be used much more effectively. Many carrier bags end up as unsightly litter in trees, streets, parks and gardens, which can kill birds and many other animals. Things like glass, sharp metal and plastic can cut a hedgehog's paws, and fishing line, nylon and other types of materials can trap and tangle birds.
We are lucky to have these beautiful creatures in Preston. Let's do our bit to protect our wildlife and countryside. Nature has been on this planet and so have birds and wildlife a lot longer than we have. So let's respect it, let's keep it tidy and let's look after them. Thank you very much.